Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about two ways to remove the background of an image using GIMP. The first method I'm going to talk about is a method you could use if you don't have a drawing pad. So if you're only using your mouse and keyboard, you could use this to quickly remove the background of the image. And then the second method would be how to remove the background while using a drawing pad to hopefully speed up the process. So here I have this image of a parrot sitting on a branch and you can see there's this green background in the image. The first thing I usually do is I come across to the layers and whatever layer my image is on, I would like to add what's called an alpha channel to that layer. So I add that alpha channel by right clicking on the layer then hitting add alpha channel. What that does is it allows the layer with my image to become transparent. So if I remove any part of this image, I will be able to see whatever is in the background. So right now you can see I have a background layer under this image that is purple. So if I quickly, for example, if I remove part of my layer with the parrot, you'll be able to see through this top layer and see the background behind it. So looking at this image specifically, the first thing I notice is that the background is all mostly green or one color. So just off the bat, my first instinct is to use the magic wand or fuzzy select tool um, right here. So what this does is that it selects an area based on how similar in color it is to wherever you click on the screen. So if I just click here, for example, you see it selects essentially all the darker greens. And then to add to the selection, I could just hold shift and it will keep on selecting. So you can see it's not selecting the parrot right now because the parrot is a different color, right? A problem comes about now, if I, for example, if I click down here, you see the parrot tails uh, kind of the same a similar green to the background if I click here it also selects the parrot tails so to solve that what you have to do is to deselect the automatic selection of the parrot tails so to do that you could use another selection tool which is called the free select tool and if I click the free select tool I'm able to remove areas that I selected before or add areas. So if I hit, hit control, this will subtract whatever area from the previous selection that I had that I don't want to, to add. So see, I just circled the detail and now it's removed from that selection. So continuing on with the free selection tool, I hit shift. I could continue to add areas to what I already selected. So for example, here, is an area that has not been selected yet. You could use any selection tool to do this. So for example, for this whole large area here, if I hit the rectangle and hold shift, that entire area is now selected. This is all without a drawing pad. So essentially what you want to do is select as much area as possible to make your life easier later on in the process. Eventually, once you reach a satisfactory point, you just have to hit delete on your device that you're using to edit the image. And that will remove the entire area that you selected. I think that's good for now. And then all I have to do is hit delete on my current selection. And as you can see, it removed most of the background. So all that's left from this point on is to just work around the image slowly and um, essentially erase everything that's left. So so that so that's why that's why it's important in the first stage to remove as much as possible so you have less work to do in the end. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit here. To, so you don't have to sit through the whole process but 
essentially what I'm doing here is using the free select tool and the eraser well mostly the free select tool to just click around the edges of the picture and remove what's left of the background it's easiest to use the free select tool if you're just using a mouse because you could easily click along the edges and remove what you need and once that's done you have the image you wanted now we're going to remove the background using a drawing pad a drawing pad gives you a lot more freedom and a wider range of motion when drawing or creating whatever you're trying to create so it's important to just take advantage of that if you have one as you're going to see it's a lot easier to remove the background or simpler if you have a drawing pad so the first thing i'm going to do is create a new layer here above the original image layer and all i'm going to do on this layer is trace around the parrot i'll speed this part of the video up so you don't have to sit through the entire thing but all i'm going to do is just start tracing around the image in black Again, this is all on the new layer above the original image. So once you're done with that outline of your image, the rest of the process is pretty simple. So remaining on the new layer that you use to trace the image Click the magic wand tool or the party select tool and click outside of your outline. And as you can see that selects all the area that's outside of what I just outlined. That selection was made on the new layer. So now you want to go to the layer with the actual image and as you can see the selection is still present. Once you're on that layer all you have to do is hit delete and there you have it the entire background is removed and you can now remove your selection and you can hide the outline that you just made if you want or you could keep it but as you can see the background is now quickly removed and you have less work to do in the end you could still go around the image and check to see if you know you have a few spots you want to clean up but for the most part it was pretty easy to remove the entire background and that's all I have hopefully that was helpful and you could decide which method you want to use based on whether you have a mouse on keyboard or whether you have a drawing pad to use the techniques I just showed were universal so even if you don't have GIMP you could still use it to edit your image thanks for watching and stay well till next time